This video is for entertainment purposes only. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Susan Lynn, Psychic Medium. Good to be with you today. Thanks for stopping by to my subscribers. Hey, what's up to the new people here? Welcome. Okay, we are in a crazy week with Trump having done some crazy things. His supporters have attacked the uh, state capitol building a few days ago and um, we are picking up the pieces right now. So I wanted to tell you, I keep getting, um, I've done many videos about this, about Trump leaving, him fleeing, him being forced out, him um, even creating a false video of him being thrown out. Again, all these things are to get his supporters riled up because when they get riled up, they open up their pocketbook and they pay him money. So that's the important thing here that we need to keep in mind. And we also need to keep in mind, he doesn't need to necessarily be the president to continue this gravy train. He can be anywhere in the world and still have his supporters supporting him because he will be in exile. So he, um, in the, in the end result, he doesn't need to be the president. He will take these supporters with him. Believe me, they will fight for his cause because they feel that he has been unjustly uh, voted out. So they believe that he's, you know, he needs to come back and be president. Um, I did a whole nother video on Trump supporters and their mentality and their psychology. You can check that out as well. But I wanted to do a quick, quick video about, um, about Trump and will he stay? Uh, when will he leave? I really saw him going about the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. I just got a message uh, that Pence, um, that the 13th day of January is an important day. That might be when Pence takes over. I got to tell you, Pence has no stomach for this. He doesn't want anything to do with this. He feels like he is going to have to um, clean up someone else's mess. Uh, Pence, as you can see, he's a very clean cut person. Um, he feels like this is a mess and, and it's not his mess and he doesn't want to deal with it. But I also wanted to just pull some tarot cards. I'm using regular tarot cards and I want to show you what I got. Um, the first card I got was the fool. This is for Trump leaving before the 20th. The next card I got was judgment. Very interesting. So fool takes a leap, uh, goes on a journey, and then he gets judged. So you can see that um, that makes a lot of sense for Trump. He's leaving. He's being judged. Um, this is the Eight of Swords. Um, many people feel like this is um, someone that's put themselves in this position, that, that they can take the bindings off and take the blindfold off, and they would be not in as bad a situation as they are. I take that to mean that, you know, look, he he's doing his thing. He's, you know, whistling Dixie. And then, as I've said in other videos, the Republicans and Democrats come down on him and say, you have got to leave. <laughs> um, if you're going to act crazy, you have to leave. And then here he is, I think, being judged, feeling like, OK, I'm I'm um, I'm being, you know, as usual, harassed. Everything he says. Right. Queen of Swords. Um, is the next card. So very interesting uh, that that would come in. And this is the card that I get, that I've gotten every time I pulled Trump cards on Trump, tarot cards on Trump. This is always the final card that I pull. Death in the upright position. This could be a literal death and it could, or it could be obviously a transformation and that makes sense too, right? Uh, transforming, moving out of the country, fleeing from the country, recreating a new life somewhere else, right? So then um, I pulled this, I love this deck. It's just fun. It's called the Rebel Oracle deck with an attitude. And boy, does it ever have an attitude. And I pulled one card for Trump. And um, this is the card that I got. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. We often say that with Tarot and Oracle cards. You can't make this stuff up. Um, shit is going down with your job. Okay. On the other side, it says, uh, reevaluate, change your perspective or effing quit. Now, if that is not apropos of Trump, I don't know what is. Reevaluate, change your perspective or get out. 
And I think that's what the Democrats are saying to him. Get your s, you know, get your stuff together. Stop um, harassing. Stop being mean. Stop um, encouraging violence. Stop encouraging sedition. Stop encouraging civil war. Um, and and be quiet. You know, if you want to be quiet, you can just slide on the, to the twentieth. But he can't do that. We all know he can't do that. So we know he's going to be forced out. I know he's going to be forced out. The question is whether it's whether it's known. You know, in my last video, I said there slip a little paper to him where they show you know everybody's signatures. You know, Pelosi's got all her people on board and knows that she can get it through the House. And you know, Chuck Schumer or Mitch McConnell, whichever happens to be in power, it would be Mitch McConnell. Um, has his people and he knows he can get it through. So I don't see it being impeachment. I do see it being the 25th Amendment removal from office. But I also think that they will use that as a um, threat along with potentially some secret servicemen um, to say, this is your choice. You can you can stay and we'll remove you through the uh, powers that we have within the government, or you can take this very real threat and you can leave on your own. You know, you can either, um, I, I honestly even don't see them doing the 25th Amendment. I see him fleeing. I see him leaving. So then that's going to create another constitutional crisis. This constitutional crisis is something I've talked about in a lot of videos where there's no one there. You know, Pence, Pence is like backed off. He doesn't want anything to do with this mess. Um, yes, he is the vice president, but he's trying to stay as far away from Trump as he can because he doesn't want to be implicated in the seditious activities that Trump has been doing. So Pence has been like, you know, I'm going to stay over here in my play, in my, in my little president, vice presidential, you know, house. <laughs> Bye. So what we have is Trump fleeing the country and then everybody going, Pence, Pence, hey, Pence, where are you? You know. Hello. Um, that's where it gets murky for me. I don't really, I can't see. He does not want to do it. He doesn't want to be the acting president. He just, he just doesn't. I don't know why. It, again, it goes back to the mess. Somebody made a mess in his house and he's not cleaning it up. He's done. He's done. He, the man is done. So the, um, <laughs> the rebel deck that I pulled for Pence um, is... Um, stop obsessing. And the back says, uh, you're not the effing center of the universe. So I think that's interesting. Um, I think he, I think Pence is obsessing about this. I think he wants everyone to see his side. Uh, he wants uh, to be left alone. Um, he doesn't want to deal with all the problems that will be left when Trump leaves. I mean, we're talking big problems because once Trump is out of the White House, all those people can talk. All the staff can talk. All those civil servants that are, you know, career civil servants can talk. Allegations are going to fly. Stories are going to fly. And there's Pence, you know, Mr. Button Down Pence. Um, I just don't think he wants to deal with it. So when I pulled cards for Pence regarding this, I used the Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed and the first card that I got was higher power, which is really interesting. Higher power as in, dude, you're vice president. Get up here and be a president for 10 days or whatever. You know, get over yourself. In other words, you know, you're not the effing center of the universe. <laughs> get over it because a higher power is making you do this. You have to do this. Next card, co-create. Co-create, work with Biden, work with the incoming administration. My God, I don't care. You sit in your little vice president, you know, house, your mansion, cottage, whatever the heck it is, and let Biden take over to the biggest degree that he can before the inauguration. Co-create, do your part, right? So the next thing, very interesting, between worlds, between worlds. He has to be the president, but he's not the president. 
He's in between worlds. He's not a private citizen. He's not a vice president. He's acting president for some period of time. He's stuck between the worlds, which frankly goes back to get over yourself. You're not the center of the effing universe. Stop obsessing. Okay, the next thing I got was, <laughs> I told you you can't make this stuff up. There's no place like home. Look, can you imagine him clicking his heels? There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Get me out of here. Get me back to Indiana. I never want to go to DC again. I mean, honestly, the man wanted to be, he wanted to be a president. He, he thought this was the pathway to the president. He thought if he just kept his mouth shut and was a good boy, he would get what he wanted. This is what he wanted. And now it's all been ruined because of Trump, because there's no way back. He can never, um, he can never be president. I think he knows he can never be president. Um, he's made the Trumpers mad. He's made the Republicans mad. Uh, he has no base. He's in between worlds there as well. He has absolutely no support. So the guy is going to be asked to do this, whether or not he does it well, whether or not he even really does it at all, I don't know. Because when I try to see him being sworn in, I uh, it looks cloudy for a while. And then I kind of see him doing it. Um, I can see it. I can see it, but it, it does, it's not super clear. It's, it's something he doesn't want. He, he does not want it with his whole energy, his whole body. So I want to bring this up. A while back, I saw Nancy Pelosi uh, becoming president for a short minute, for a minute, you know, um, and I never understood why, I, but I saw it. It's the headline of a video, many, many, many videos back. And um, I don't know, uh, will she have to step in? Pence also is one of those people who has health problems to me. I feel it in my heart. I feel a different kind of pain than I feel with Trump when I feel that heart pain. Um, I think he's, I think the stress has just literally ruined his health. Honestly, I think he's really not doing well with the stress of this situation, with being out of control of such a train wreck for so many years, uh, of trying to be the good boy and support Trump, but at the same time, not incriminate himself. I think it's been a terrible tightrope walk for him. So I think, you know, if anything could happen, it could be that he is in the hospital, he has some kind of problem, and we don't have a vice vice. We have a Nancy Pelosi. So this may happen, guys. I can't guarantee it. We all have free will. He may go to the doctor and get checked out and get, get some kind of medication or get treatment for it before all this falls apart. But I thought the cards were really interesting and I wanted to share that with you. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, thank you for being with me for this video. I really appreciate it. Much love to you all. And listen, the last thing I want to leave you with is take care of yourself. Be safe. Protect your health. Protect your finances. It's going to be a rough and tumble month to two months, okay, until we get into summer. It could be pretty dicey. So I want you guys to just hang in there. Don't make any big decisions right now. Just let everything ride. Stay cool with your Trump relatives. Don't get in fights with them. You cannot win. They have been, you know, brainwashed. Um, take care of yourself. If you have to, isolate yourself. You know, it's winter. Isolate yourself. But don't make that cause, make, don't let that cause you to not take care of yourself, okay? Isolate yourself, but still take care of yourself. Do the self-care things that you like to do. This is a great time. If you don't have a hobby, get a hobby. If you want to take a class, take a class. Spend time bettering yourself, taking care of yourself, pampering yourself, because we need you here. We need everybody on deck when we get on the other side of this and things get under control. So that's what I have to say for you guys. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or if you're interested in videos regarding uh, psychic or mediumship or intuitive or any kind of fun metaphysical videos like that. And uh, if you liked this video, hit the thumbs up. Much love to you guys.